everybody, my YouTube friends. <laughs> it's nice to have you come visit. Oh, look at the fun. We could have a whole group of us sitting in here doing this. And the reason I'm doing this is because my orchids do so well in these they plastic so they hold the humidity so I put bigger holes so that they do dry. And actually the pot probably ends about here so it's actually just a big orchid pot. But it's kind of nice to have a decorative one and I just put them in the shower. They've never had a, a soak in a, um, the t anything because they're so big so I just put them in the shower and, and I can move them around and they're kind of decorative and kind of fun if you have a special orchid which is what this is waiting for. So this is part two and uh, I have on this plate I have a dab of white. This is warm white and I have um, just cheap pine grass green and tropical green and bright green. So I have a mixture that I can uh, add to or change depending. The good thing about acrylic and, and this, the reason I want you to do this, try something. If you don't paint this one, paint something else. It's because the more you, you uh, indulge in your creative part of you, then the more you want to do it. And we're certainly going to have lots of time. So um, let's get started. So I, these are my oldest brushes. I don't, most of them are, are very... Um, rough feeling. Like if I'm doing a picture, I might have nice soft bristles. But all of the ones I picked out here are soft. And the even this little fan brush. So I've got a chair beside me and that's sort of the design I'm looking for. So maybe I'll move it just a bit there. I don't think there's going to be any Maggie's toys flying around here and Jack's down the grass, so he's busy making something. So I'm just going to start and this is what you do. I'm not, uh, you know, you just do it. And the good thing is if you don't like it, you can put a little paint over it and acrylic is so forgiving. So I think I'll pick a brush that's um, kind of angle because I'm going to put leaves on first and they're going to go every which way but I got them in this old a and mug. Now we've had this for years and, and, and we probably picked it up at a grant sale because we would never walked off from a and with it. Oh boy, I remember when, when I was um, a teenager and I wanted to go to work. At first I wanted to go to work in the cannery in New Westminster. My dad wouldn't let me go to work in the cannery. So <laughs> then I wanted to go to work at A&W. Well, couldn't do that either. The only thing he'd let me do was babysit. And the whole time I was going to school, every weekend I babysit it. So uh, that was all I was allowed to do. My brother got to go work at the mill. My dad was, um, he was, uh, he, lay, he, he ended up being in charge of the plywood plant. So that's what he did. And some of the people I went to school with, they, I used to hear stories. Because my dad, for all his, he was an alcoholic, but he, he he never swore in front of us. He was a good dad other than that. He never swore, never had to, um, never had to put up with that. And I've never had, I've been lucky that way. I don't know, some people swear, but my words are few and far between. See, this is what I'm doing. I'm just putting, you know, this shape, anybody can do this shape. And then you can change it, you know, as you can change it as you go along. So I, I don't really care what color it is right now. 
course, green, greenhouse, but there's varying greens. And then I'm just going to put a bunch of leaves on and, and vary my colors and shapes. And you can add more color on top once you get everything in place because um, the leaves are, you probably can't see one, but they're, they're a little light and then they have some white, the lighter color I'm going to put in last. So I'm just getting some green on and then there's a lighter color that I'll do last. So, yeah. So I wonder how many will try it. So I hope to, I was thinking of doing this all in one video, but it would have been so long. So that's why I decided to put a video out, let you know I'm still kicking. And uh, then do another one with the last part. So many different colors of greens. And, and I'm not being fussy. I'm you know, kind of putting them here and there. They can be, some of them will look like they're going from the top. So sort of the narrow part is going to go on and then kind of wider. This might be one of the big gigantic leaves. So then they can go wider. And they, they'll get veins on them. So, you know, that could be a gigantic leaf. <laughs> It's really, it's really fun, actually, and uh, and it's good kind of, um, you know, time to think, visit with your YouTube friends. Oh, I, lately you go out for a walk and like hardly anybody wants to stand too close and, wow. This is a busy week. This is a busy week. All kinds of things happening. Yesterday I made bread and I made cookies. So, as you know, or those of you that know, I'm gluten free. I've been gluten free since 1996 when. Uh, they told me I just about kicked the bucket for the second time in my life. <laughs> so, I, oh God, I, I, met, I was working in this mill and, and then I got up to go to work and I fell back down again. And, and I, uh, I was like I was in this great big black, uh, falling down a deep well. And I was going down. It was really awful really awful and I, you know you don't know what to do anyway I ended up going to the doctor and they said oh no and they did all these blood tests and then they looked at my fingers because the rest of me looks okay but my fingers are all chubby, chubby so they go oh you've you've got uh, sausage fingers what the heck yeah, you got sausage fingers. So then they do all these blood tests, and then they say, "Oh boy, you're you've got the highest test for for lupus I've ever seen, ever seen in the whole interior." And they must have sent me to like ah, uh, I don't know how many specialists, one after the other, and and then they wanted me to go like once a week, and they wanted to take me to take all these drugs which I wouldn't take, and. I mean, I felt okay, but uh, uh, things, uh, they found this blood thing, right? And I got over the going down the well thing. I never took any drugs, but um, I started reading because it said I had lupus. And I went to this final, final specialist. He's supposed to be the best. And he said, oh, I can't see. You're not going to be, you're going to be in the hospital and dying. I mean... It, you're almost dead. I mean, that's how it came across. Uh, no doctor should ever say that to anybody. So, I mean, what do you do? Lay down and die or get up and fight, you know? <laughs> I'm telling you. So, um, I started reading about it and then I decided to go gluten-free. 
And so I've been gluten free since then. I've been way better. <laughs> I can, I do, but whenever they test my blood, it's the same way. It's very high positive, like somebody recovering from cancer or has cancer. It's very high, but that was in 1996, so, uh, <laughs> anyway, so I went gluten free. Glad I did. Glad I did. It really helped because. Ever since I was a kid, I remember I used to get arthritis and, and uh, standing with a coat on was, you know, painful on the shoulders, all kinds of things like that. And, and uh, all that's gone away. I, I, it, you have to stick to it and I don't buy any gluten-free stuff. I make my own bread with all natural ancient grains, I make my own every my own cookies, my own pancakes, whatever we have. And uh, nobody else is forced to eat that way. Uh, I have my bread, Jack has that in the morning, but he, you know, if he's having a hamburger, he has his own bun that he likes. And I have a bun that, that I made gluten-free and it took me years to get these recipes so they were actually good. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so that was the second time that I had this, like, people telling me that, and you just, uh, I just ignored it, I tried to, and, and then I told my daughter, I'm not going to any more specialists, I've had it, and she says, well, we'll test your blood once in a while, which they do, and it always looks the same, so, and... And so that was my second near-death experience, but the first one was when I had my daughter. Um, I was living up in Holberg, the very northern tip of Vancouver Island. I was living up there, and I was just, um, I was uh, 19 when I had, no, I was 20. I just turned 20 when I actually had her. and. Holberg does not have a, uh, a doctor's or a hospital, but the Air Force Base, which was a ways away, they had a kind of a real small, like, outpost, outpost hospital. And lots of young people lived up there, and lots of people went in and had kids before I did, but I didn't know the guy was just a skin specialist, and I was totally fine. I mean, I was building rock gardens and uh, and um, ro rolling logs out in the lake and and <laughs> on the water. That's on the water, and you know, doing all the things young kids like to do. And uh, so anyway, I thought I'd be just like everybody else. I'd go in and I'd have her, and that would be it. But it wasn't because um, I died on the table. And, and it wasn't some people, oh, it was the drugs they gave. No, 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 because where they didn't give drugs where I was. There was an anesthetist, and he, he fainted. Well, just wait, I'm, I'm going to show you something. See, this leaf here, let me see. So I'm going to take a leaf. It's hard upside down. Where am I? Right there. And I'm going to kind of put some lines this way. Just for fun, and then I can come along and um, put some dark in there. So there we go. It's kind of funny painting. You don't have to worry because you can paint over things. Anyway, I died on the table. They fooled Vancouver Emergency. I don't know how many times they couldn't find me out. There was a big storm. There's always a storm up in the North Island, and. Uh, so I'm on the table, and um, I went, I'm not, I didn't, I was very quiet. I'm on the table, I'm having her, and then apparently I died. So I, I'm up, I could, I'm up in the, and this is in like <laughs> uh, 1998, I mean, <laughs> when I, so you don't go down people what happened when you, I mean, they think you're crazy, but, 
and I wasn't on drugs because I wasn't that kind of person. So here I am. I'm like, I'm up there. I feel nothing. I feel no pain. And I'm looking down and I'm on the table. I see me on the table. I see people standing all around me. I even see a door is open and there's people from the hallway looking in. And there was an Anesius, but he fainted, if you can believe that. So anyway, <laughs> then they, they were all, I could hear everything everybody's saying. And they're saying, well, we've lost her. And then, then they start, um, they start uh, bringing in this tin trolley. And they're putting me on this tin trolley. And I don't know where they're going to take me. So anyway, they're doing that. And by the time they finish fooling around and doing all this kind of stuff, then I guess I started to come too. And, and they're going, oh my God, we thought we almost lost you. And, and, and then uh, for two years after that, I had a lot of um, uh, surgeries. <laughs> it wasn't good. Not serious ones, just cauterization ones. I don't want to get into that. But anyway, <laughs> So, yeah, it was a little strange, and and also, you know what happened? Uh, this is crazy, but um, I started saying things before they happened. Uh, it was horrible, just horrible. I would see someone I didn't even know have an accident, and I would describe it, and then it would happen. And, like, I, I'd say, oh, my God, your cat's going to get run over. And, and it does. And all kinds of things like that. I, it, for, for two years, it, finally it went away. And I was glad because I'd wake up at, at like, 2 in the morning. And I'd have these uh, um, horrible dreams. Like, you'd see it. And so, I don't know, must have been part of what got left with me from the whole episode. So, um, oh boy. So yeah, so, um, you know, it can happen to anybody, anytime. And um, uh, I think that's why you want to, uh, you know, love those around you and be as nice and good as you can while you're here. Because uh, the only thing you can take with you is what's in your heart. I think what's in your soul travels on with you. So um, you have to um, just just to love those you're with and, and appreciate people. <laughs> Mom used to always say to me, she used to say, Carolyn, all you see is the good in people. You don't see, you don't see the other things. <laughs> I know. But anyway, yeah, I, I like to see the good in people. And and there is good in lots of people. And we just have to pray for the people that go astray. I do that sometimes, you know, that just don't see things the way they should or, or their heart's not in the right place. And you just have to pray that they'll see, see that it's so much more enjoyable life if, if you um, just um, do your best to be loving and kind to everybody. Hmm. I didn't know I was going to say all that, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, there. I'm getting leaves on and uh, I think I'm going to put some uh, Flowers are going to be last, and there will be a few leaves. These are kind of background leaves, and uh, they're actually got a little white, more white on them, so I'll just put a little white. So don't be afraid, because it's painting. Um, it doesn't have to look like a picture. It, it's just, um, and I might, you might use something as, you know, like the chairs are giving me the idea, but that doesn't mean it's going to end up looking like the chairs. <laughs> you just have to um, play at it. And that's part of the fun. And then everybody said, oh boy, that's so neat. You won't find a pot like that anywhere. 
So I'm putting a little white on the leaves, a bit more white, and then I think I'll, I'll do some roots. Everything can change. Acrylic paint is great. If you don't like what you did, you can uh, change it very easily. Put some black over it, which is your background color, or, or just, you know, it doesn't have to be anything too perfect. The leaves aren't perfect. Nothing's perfect in this life. So, it doesn't have to be perfect. If we all worried about something was going to be perfect, we'd never do anything. <laughs> so, okay, let's, I think I'm going to put this brush in my water. Never leave a brush in water. I have rags. I always have rags because knowing me, I make a mess. So let's put some, there's a nice little brush. I'm going to make some, uh, aerial roots and, and they come out of the hole and they're going to go down and, you know for now I'm just doing them in, in white so I, one of my pots I, I put aerial roots on but um, then a real one grows out and you can't you can't tell which one's which so you just do them from the hole and you can put them over leaves, you can make them wine wherever. And then you can put a dab of green on them. And maybe some brown later. It all it all dries. And then and then you can add other colors, like dark green, light green. See, it's not <clears throat> something like, oh, you can paint. Hey, anybody can do this. This anybody can do. Because I'm not being fussy or... <clears throat> okay. I think I'll turn it upside down. <clears throat> if you paint this way and you are doing one, remember, it's upside down, so... Well, arrow roots can go anywhere, but uh, they look, they're going to look like they're coming out of the holes. So, I'll get all this done. I'm going to put a few more on, and then, uh, then I'll come back and see what we need to do. Put some flowers on. This is how we're coming so far. I think it's going to be nice. Yeah. So, you just have to do the back too. Maybe this, this edge here where, um, there, we make that leaf sort of come up as if it's coming right over the edge. We're going to get new neighbors across the street. There's people moving out right now. The place sold. You wouldn't think in these days that things would sell so fast, but things have been, I think people are coming from the, the big cities and they're coming here. They're trying to get out of the cities. I guess if they can sell where they are and then come here, then I guess, I don't know what, what's going to happen to all this. I hope, I hope that, you know, when we go out, we, we just, uh, we try to just, we're probably going out a little less than what we normally would. But, and, and we only wear our face masks where they tell you to wear them. So we keep them with us and we put them on. But if we're in the hot car and we're out walking or something, we never wear one. If we meet someone, we just stand, uh, you know, uh, you know, we, everybody stands back from each other. So... Maggie met a little dog she liked. Maggie's not that friendly with other dogs, and I daren't go pat another dog because then she gets she gets jealous. So she met a little dog, and she normally doesn't like little dogs. And there was a bunch of people over at the park, and 
and the kids were all tobogganing. The father had built these ski jumps, these jumps. So the kids go down and then they jump and then they jump. And, and this, uh, there was, it looked like a grandfather watching and he had a little puppy called Pebbles. Oh, Maggie liked that dog. <laughs> yeah, which is, uh, which is unusual. Yeah, it's usually unusual for her. You know what, I should just touch up. Not that I'm going to do a lot. I, I'm putting a little bit of this, um, you know, if the sun is shining on a leaf, this one, this is one I got, um, I think at Walmart. And it's tropical <coughs> green and it was fairly cheap. But it, it gives a kind of, uh, adds a little warmth to, to a green, like to, to say a leaf. So you can use it like maybe in a different place. And just kind of blend it in. Put it in, the, you know, just like this one. We put those lines of the white going down. Well, we can put a little bit of this too. Oh, what if if the leaves are yellower? Um, they're getting a lot of sun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, someone was saying, oh, you should take a video when if we can go to Vernon and look for an orchid. If I can find someone, and then I have to see if they let me video it because um, the stores here don't let you take pictures for some reason. They got signs up that you can't. So anyway, I guess I should quit talking and just putter around on this for a little bit. I don't think I, it's not a lot. And as you see, I'm going to add some, let's, a little bit, you know, instead of just green, you just throw in a kind of a warmer green just to, yeah, it makes a big difference. And if there's white under it, then it makes it even look more like the sun is hitting it and like that one there's a lot of white under it i put it on and there so um what's going to happen is i probably do some a little bit of veining on these leaves so i don't want to be here too long it's nice and peaceful though yeah. And just pick out a few colors that you like and, and if you decide to try this, he just drilled these out with a normal drill. Or you can get like hole drills and it's plastic so they drill out. But the hardest part was sawing the top off because he left this little bit of ledge. I think he sawed down and went around and then, yeah, so... <laughs> the people at Lord Cole, they, what are you doing with the trap? Oh, it's an orchid pot. What? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be an orchid pot. For, for an interesting one. So we're all learning lots. I think what I want to say, yeah, go visit everybody. I'm not, I'm not, I, you know, I hardly pay attention to, you know, Oh, make sure you subscribe and hit that thumbs <laughs> up. I don't bother. I just do this. This is just for fun. It started out for fun. That's why I don't put ads on. It's for my enjoyment. And anybody that wants to come and see how crazy I am, um, their enjoyment. I'm enjoying talking to people and getting to know people. And okay, before I go, and I might just play around. I won't do too much while you're not watching but for those of you who want to send me an email i'm at um orchid o-r-c-i o-r-c-h-i-d orchid not a s on the end orchid friends at yandex y-a-n-d-e-x yandex.com so that is a separate email just for orchids 
and it's been very enjoyable and I'm trying to post if you send me pictures and put a little comment with them I'll post them in the community section and there is a lot of orchids there and the good thing about it not being on Facebook is those or they'll stay there like you can go down and down and down look there's new people sending pictures of their new orchids people that never had spikes there's people that grow beautiful different varieties of orchids that I've never even seen so uh, just uh, any comment you want now somebody sent me a PDF and I haven't been able to they I can load other YouTubes and but YouTube won't let you do some things but I haven't found a way to bring that PDF to the community channel um, I tried a few things but nothing worked so uh, I have to try different things to get things up there, but I'm getting a lot better at it. And uh, so I think that's it for now. And we'll be back and we'll be putting flowers on. Flowers and I'll, then I'll get a verithane and then we'll go plant hunting. <laughs> so thanks for putting up with me. I didn't mean to get into anything too serious, but... Anyway, that's life, isn't it? And we all have our ups and downs. And in all parts of life, we have our ups and downs. We're not always happy. We're not always sad. Um, everybody reacts to um, a crisis uh, differently. Me, I, I usually go, oh, I feel awful for like two, three days. And... You know, I don't know, I just get, I say, what does this happen for? And I feel miserable for a couple of days. And then I say, to heck with it, get over it, Carolyn. Go do something. And it's gone. So there's lots of things we all put up with. And like my mom says, as you get older, there's lots of things you got to ignore. <laughs> anyway, she's still there. And I'm glad she is because she's always keeping an eye on us. <laughs> Okay, well, anyway, I guess I better quit and go turn this off, and we'll see you for the next part of part two. <laughs> Almost fell, fell. I kind of moved the table out so everybody can see what I'm doing for a change. So I'm squished in here between the counter and the table. And I started because my camera wasn't charged up yet. But hi, how are you doing? We're continuing with the uh, orchid pot. So I've been playing around while I was waiting for the camera to charge. And I'm putting on some flowers. I did a green one up here and a purple one there. And I did another green one. And I'll probably put one here. And then I'll do some buds, and <laughs> you get to see how I'm doing this. It's quite interesting. So I have a bunch of uh, paint on my plate here. Probably not enough, but hmm, maybe I should put a little bit more of this one on. Oh, green. Okay. Yeah, more green. Okay, I think we're good actually. <laughs> okay, so what I do first is, uh, they're called moth orchids, right? So they're moth orchids. So I, I start to put a great big uh, moth first. So, and you know, it doesn't have to be perfect because um, your brain's a funny thing. Once your brain realizes what it is, then it'll, it'll say, oh, flowers. And, and for a flower pot, that you know, that's all it has to do. So um, the, the moth orchid comes. There's his wing. And then around. And maybe a little bumpy there. And then in. So there's, there's one side. Maybe put a little bit darker green around the outside here. You can use any color you want, because I'm just playing around. <laughs> so, uh, okay. 
Let's put one on the other side. Okay, one on the other side. We're a little too white. We're a little too white, but I will green it up once I get the shape in. So this is what I'm doing. The leaves are dry. And I did go back in with some black and made the lines in here a little closer to the leaves, more separation, because there's still a lot of um, things to put on and I wanted it to still have background. So, so a moth. So if you kind of think of moth wings first, I think that kind of helps. Which color was that, Carolyn? I think, I'm trying to remember what light color I have, maybe this one. That's that one. I'm sorry, I forgot what color I have there. But, hmm. This one. That's that one. Okay. Pale. I want some pale. <laughs> so, I let this dry really good in between because uh, if you don't, sometimes you'll paint on and then what will happen, you'll be rubbing off while you're trying to paint on. So, so this is kind of a, a moon glow color. Moon glow's over there. She's actually a little more yellower, but I think we need a little more of a peak in there. I'll come back with a little brush once I get some paint on and fix that up a little bit. So, not snowing today. It's actually quite mild out there. Okay, so at the top we have kind of a pointy one. Just remember it doesn't have to be too fussy. And then at the bottom we have one that comes out. Something like that. I think I need to get my other brush going here. This one's kind of big for what I'm trying to do. So, let's put that in the water and get this one. So, don't laugh. <laughs> now, if you guys decide to do one, you know, like Jack's made some stands, but not all my stands are made. They're things I found at the thrift store, like um, that one started out, it looked like a candle stand or something. It was just three legs in a hole. And then the, the 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 little cage part. It's those it's those um, cages they sell for your garden for maybe miniature roses, and they're like teepee shaped. And I just turn them upside down so that they they hold the the shape of the traffic cone. Um, I think, let's see, and it looks, it's kind of funny, it ended up with two eyes right there. <laughs> so let's put something in the middle, need some yellow or green or something there, and then the little it always looks like a little bird and it's got little wings flying in the center. <laughs> so, okay, now let's see. Let's put an accent color on this one. Whoops. I forgot to put my paint shirt on. You know what happens when you forget to put your paint shirt on? You get paint on your pants. 
not learn anything good, so I'm not too worried. Okay, now, um, some of these have, you know, put a little purple on it there. The fun thing is that you can use any colors. There. Just wanted to, so you could see what I'm doing, not that it's that um, perfect or anything. It's kind of funny with that hole there, it throws you off. Okay. And then we've got this one over here. Here we are doing this. Jack's busy moving TVs because one, one TV's old and then it broke down and so he's busy and he had to run to the hardware store for parts. So, and one of them wasn't working so we phoned to tell the TV people but they're going to come on Friday and meanwhile he finds out the TV is not working so. <laughs> so when you put dark colors not always, but it makes them, um, it makes it jump out a little more, come more forward. So I'm putting some dark here so that that shows up a little bit. When you start, you never know what you're going to get. You just don't. Started out green, remember? Yeah, changed my mind. Okay, now, um, I think we'll go in a little bit and bring it in. I, you know, if I was being real fussy, I'd probably draw a picture and and put it on there. But you'll see in the end, like some more dark leaves will go over on and, and some little buds and by the time you're finished it's um it all comes together because it's really just it is just um your imagination at work Doo -doo. <laughs> okay let's put some darker there We have to go back on the butterfly, on the big wings, because they stick out a little more. Correct that. Then I, you're probably thinking, oh, what is she doing? Well, she doesn't know. She doesn't know. So anyway, this is what's happening. Need some more red. I'm going to add some more. It's just a matter of to, to keep adding color to get a little bit of depth. So all you real painters out there, you think, what is she doing? <laughs> this is the fun, and this is why I say, you guys, you can do it yourself. You don't need, you don't need to be a specialist or call yourself an artist. You can do it yourself. They're getting that way. And now this is the bottom part of the butterfly's wing. Come in. There. A little more darker here. I'm going to put a little more green on there after. So get that right. And now this one. There. Now, a little bit down 
fear. Also. And I'm going to put some more green. It's kind of a, a purpley reddy color, but red and green are kind of really good contrasting colors to to put on. So I think I'll use this little, I have a little tiny brush here. <laughs> I'm going to put some green on. doesn't have to be a lot, just, you know, some of these are quite colorful. Kind of goes with the leaves. Kind of throws you off when you got those holes there. So I'm just putting some green in for just, and then I'll let it dry really good. Oh, I need a little bit of a, that's okay. Yeah, that one is a little better, more like a colorful orchid. Attracting, attracting all those shoppers. Now. There. So I'll get that center in a minute. So over here I have a little green one. So I have I have a purple one and a green one and some leaves. And then I have that big green one there. And then I'm gonna have this one when it's finished. It's kind of ugly. I'll probably end up when I get one I sort of part of it I don't like with my other one. I take I put darker green leaves on the top and uh, that all comes together. So let's put a bud. Oh boy. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. But. So here comes Jack up the elevator. Okay, let's put a little stem here. I'm just using whatever colors are on my thing right now. Okay. And then a bud. Oh, I it was my watering day, so I did the black tea today. And... Uh, uh, I think I had four tea bags. I had one in the sink, well, one in each two bowls, and then I split one to some little bowls. And I put also a little bit of cow mag in with it too. So um, uh, a teaspoon to four gallons, in a teaspoon, a quarter of a teaspoon to a gallon. So in my sink, which holds four to five gallons, I used a teaspoon, and I, I added that to my tea today too. I really noticed it definitely helping, so. What? Yes. Oh, I got a video going. Can you wait till later? <laughs> it's like you can't see it. <laughs> if it sounds like a cart with a bunch of booze in, it might be. <laughs> I think he went to the hardware store. <laughs> he, he backed out. Later. Yeah, later. Yeah, we didn't have any wine. I said I'm making spaghetti tonight. <laughs> so he, he went shopping. There's always something going on around here. Mom, she hasn't been. Well, she when you get 96 and... She'll be 97 December. Some nights you sleep, some you don't. Sometimes she sleeps in the chair. Yesterday she didn't feel well, but she's up doing all her housework and everything. She does all her housework down there, so. <laughs> you know, 
Yeah, just she says you just gotta keep going anyway. I need some white. Probably need a lot of things. There. There's a five going there. There's a five. And then what'll happen is once I get these on, then I'm gonna add some dark leaves just on the top, just to kind of go over it. So well oh boy, I really got a funny one going here. Um hmm. I'll put some more green. There. So anyway, this is what I'm doing. So um I'm letting you guys see, and then I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to put some um, leaves on. And once the leaves are on, then it gets bare things, so that I never have trouble. Like, those ones are so old. And you can tell, it's just color, like, from a distance. Now, if I bring out... A dark leaf through here after you won't see how funny that flower looks and, and that's what I did with that one too and you just add a little and of course it's at the front you want those leaves to show up better so I'll go I'll go with um, darker so we're getting there I think that'll be good put another bud on maybe Here's one that's gonna, this one's that color, you know, that's about the color they get when they're, <laughs> when they're too dry and they're gonna fall off. They get kind of a funny color, so. And then it can be coming from over here. Everything comes together after. It's mostly full fill, of the eye, because not, too many people are going to go up to your flower pot real close and say, oh, um, I'm going to show you, um, okay, now, I'm going to show you something, oh. okay, dark, dark green, Yeah, so I take, it takes me, I start watering about 9. I'm usually finished by 11.30, just in time for lunch. And we don't want it to get any worse than that, or it will be a, a addiction. I will be addicted. I'm trying not to be, as I fill up the house. We can still walk around, and we're not minimalists. I mean, I admire people that can be minimalists, but... I can remember when I was little and I'd be walking down the street picking things up. I don't know why. <laughs> so, okay, so, um, I just, now, say there is, oh, there's so many leaves here. Um, where's that ugly purple one? Oh, okay. So, say there's another leaf coming here. Now, it's probably not dry enough. I probably better not. I'd love to put another leaf, but I'll do it down here because I can do it when it's dry. So, so, I, I do the, the lighter ones in the background and then the darker ones here. So you can add leaves and, and and with the leaves I find you put in a different colors. You don't like it's not all green. And then they they actually look more kind of natural. So there's another leaf. It adds a different, a little bit of different color. 
on. Um, so there could be like another one here. Can be any shape. I might as well use up the last rest of my paint here. So can bend, go that way, and go all the way over. So and then you can sort of do one that goes up here. Only part way. You can put them wherever you want. You can make your little painting just any way you want. Because when this is all done and it's and it's in. See, now we're getting some depth. And when it's all done and it's in there, then it's going to be beautiful. So let, let's gamble here. You know, I think I've gambled. Well, we have one gambling place in Salmon Arm, the Indian. The, what, our Indians here, they run it. Probably not the right word. But anyway, um, I have nothing against them. I lived with them. When, we, when I ran water taxi, um, when I ran water taxi on the West Coast for five, for quite a while, and Rosemary was about four or five, and there was Indian reservations all around. There was, I had a lot of friends, and I used to run them over, all over the place, out to the islands. There was uh, little Indian reservations out on the islands, like uh, there was Bobby Sport, and he had this little little um, house. Their houses were all small, not all fancy. And in his house, from his living room ceiling, he had a big net because he pat he fixed fishing nets. And then his sister, she had a little house further down. And she did baskets. She wove baskets. And they used to come and, you know, I, I, I would charge a uh, dollar or two dollars to walk, put all my rain gear on, because lots of times it's raining on the West Coast, and walk all the way down the wharf, get in my boat, take somebody out, run them back, and then come home. I mean, I was crazy, but I, I did have a lot of fun. And I would, sometimes they'd bring me little wooden carved totem poles. And anyway, there was a big reservation that was on the, the dry side, like a lot of these places you went to by boat, but it was on the road as you come in from Port Alberni. And it was called Pachina, and they had beautiful beaches there. And Rosemary had lots of friends over there. She says, Mom, I want to move to Pachina Beach. So I don't know if I get the words right, but I, the people, I, I, I get along very well with those people. <laughs> okay. Enough of that. Okay, let's put a leaf here. Now, it might start off being a little different colored. But that's okay. <laughs> it's just like life. You gotta go with the flow. You gotta go with the flow. Okay. And then, even once this is dry, I can come back and and um, change it, like add different colors or trying to get the shape I want. There, now it should have a little tip on it, but this brush is getting kind of, ugh. Okay. So I can change the color a little bit when I, uh, when it's drier, I'm just using the last of this paint. There, it's just different different colors of things, just layering, layering kind of. Kind of, okay, we got some paint here to use up, so we can put a leaf coming down. And then once it's dry and you say, oh, I didn't like that, or I want to fix it different, well, you can. Nothing stops you from doing it. I 
you need some darker color there, but I don't have any, so I'll do, I'll put another leaf there later. Yeah. Let's make that one big one. There we go. That solves it. And I can actually blend that in to the side of that flower. No problem. There we go. It's all, it's, that's how fussy it is. Not fussy. So anyway, um, I'm going to clean up my mess because I gotta do some spaghetti real quick. And um, uh, that's what's going on. <laughs> See you when I'm doing the final touch up, put some more leaves, a few branches, and then it dries for the bear thing. We're done. So hope you're having some fun today too, and we'll see you later. Hi everybody. <laughs> I've been uh, working on that ugly flower I painted, and what happened was, I don't want it. I spilled some red paint here, uh, so I decided, oh, let's use some red. I guess it was telling me that. So I made some little, small little uh, flowers. Just, just kind of quick. So I've done that, and uh, the leaves are dry, and I put a few yellow flowers, and it's looking, it's looking like it's near finish. I'll show you how I did the, the little flowers, because um, they, they run up here. So... Let's, let's find another spot where I could put some little ones. Maybe right, right, let's see. Oh, right about through here. So I took, I took my brush and I put it in a little bit of, oh, just wait, I need some more, a yellow, maybe yellow. Put some yellow on it. Okay. So I put a little bit of yellow and some of the red that I spilled, and I just um, where was that? So I just go dab, 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 and dab, and then I can go back in maybe get a little bit more yellow for the center. It doesn't matter really. So. There I go, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red. And then, there's probably a few of them in one spot. So you kind of get a mixture of different colors. There. So, you know, because it's uh, kind of a in the jungle type plants, you don't know there's all kinds of leaves and and flowers. So it's real quick, pop, pop, pop. I ha I didn't like that ugly flower I did, so I um, I hid it. So you don't you know there's a flower there, but it didn't. I've done that with my other ones. So uh, there's a few big ones. I got a big one here. And uh, I like the little ones spread out in the leaves. So I could do some more coming down from here this way. So I get a little bit, of, of course I would go and spill that red, but it, it's a mixture of colors, so. And then you don't want them in a red, in a, you know, a straight, line either so let's put one over here then we'll put a little stem going from them and there maybe a couple right here get that red okay here and two So 
So then we put a little bit of color in the center. I got some white here, here, so I'll just put a little bit of something different in the center. No one's going to look that close. It's going to be in behind, so um, yeah, so this is what we've got so far, and so, and when it's in the container, I can't put it in right now, um, so I could take some of that red, seeing I have so much, and I could, you know, I could brighten that up a little bit. like that and then over here it's in the it's in the jungle so you know we just want color so It'll make a beautiful vase. Yeah. Maggie's been surprisingly good because there's people moving in next door and, and are across the street. So it's been all oh, trucks and she's been surprisingly good because she is a bit of a, a guard dog. <laughs> there, I think that's good. So when that's all in the stem, so what's going to happen, I'm going to let this dry for a couple days and then I'll be back. We're going to discuss containers and uh, uh, verithane it. So I'm thinking I'll just do a couple touch-ups when I get it in its stand. So I'll put it back in its a &W jar. It's the only place it's probably going to be safe tends to want to rub paint off very easily. <laughs> so anyway, this is what we got so far. And I think when it's all in the days, it'll be just fine. So I have to clean up my mess. And uh, I'll be back when this is ready and we'll do the final video on this. We're back for the last episode, the finishing up of the traffic cone. Um, I've right now got it in its stand. And I'm going to show you it's almost finished, but I'll be finishing it up real quick. So I'll show you a close up. Now I put the barathane on. And I'm going to show you the very thing I always use. And inside, inside, there's just a piece of, I think it's stucco wire. And Jack had some left, and he, I just put it in there, and that stops the bark at about here. So really, it's just a pot, and the roots do grow, grow through. But uh, I have a better plan for that than I had before. So what I did is it's got uh, two coats of barathane on the outside. Um, but when I put it this way into its container, I noticed I didn't go far enough here. So I went back and I put some black paint on the top to about where the bark will show. And I'm going to just barathane that last little bit. And this is the barathane I always use, crystal clear, um, non-yellowing, 
professional results, fast drying, and water-based outdoor semi-gloss. I use this for all of my, uh, anything that's outside that I've painted or wanted to cover, I've used this. It's terrific. It really is. And the other orchids that I'm going to show you a close-up when I'm finishing up, that are in big traffic uh, cones, well, uh, they got the same, because there's only a, a small amount left in here. That's, <laughs> you can tell it's well used. All my little ornaments that I paint and, and all that. So I'm going to be just putting two coats on that top where I just finished that. And now let's talk about the, the frame. So I think this one... Now, this is the frame that it's in. I'll just take it out for a minute. Once it's in this, I seldom ever remove it unless till I'm repotting. But this, I had two in my garden. And it's called, some people call it a topiary frame. Some people call it an obelisk. But they've been outside for a long time, and I, I was using them for many roses, and I'm always taking them off to prune the roses and putting them back. And I decided they really didn't need it because they are small. So I brought these in, and I painted them, and they usually stick in the ground like this. And you can see here, this and this are the two, oh, four actually, things that poke in the ground to hold it, but Jack soldered or welded them together and made a little handle. So that's how those work. I had two like this, and there's another one there I'll show you after. And you know where I pick things up. If I see anything that looks like it's going to be good for a container or whatever, and it's, you know, some people get them and then they just want to throw them out. So, anyway, there is, so that, also, you know, tomato cages, they come in various sizes and some of them come coated with a plastic. Now, you could use a tomato cage, that being the, the, um, the top of the tomato cage, but then the feet are loose. But you could bring the feet together to a center and wrap them with uh, anything you want to wrap them with, wire or anything, and you will have a shape like this to hold your traffic cone. Or, so if you were to Google it, you would find it under cone topiaries, or you would find it under obelisk. Or uh, you can look at tomato cages. And I googled this and I found this one. Now I don't pay this much for mine, but uh, there. It's called Cone Topiary Frames. And it's at, uh, I'm not sure what garden place it was, but if you type in that, you'll find them. And they come, actually, some of them are quite expensive. This one was $34.95. And you also have to know the, the size of your frame, of your cone. But I like these big ones best. Now, you could also drill a couple extra holes and hang them. They'd stand up outside really well in a tree, if you live somewhere where you can do that with your orchids. Or it could hang from anything up above and still be as lovely. And I find because of the, the rubber, they hold the humidity really well. They don't dry out so fast because of their size, but they have lots of put big air holes for air. We need our air. The bark dries quickly. So, there's that. And, um... I'm going to take you to just finish up and show you a close-up of the other ones. And uh, then I'll have to join 
section two together and it will be all finished for you. And I will bear thing this next, but you will have to watch me because the video will get long. <laughs> and all you people that are recovering from surgery out there, I know there's the two or three of you for sure, uh, get well quick. <laughs> so I'll just take you around. Now, here's this one. Now this is the one that I ended up with all the roots out and I said I was going to poke them in but no they are happy being out and so I'm letting them but because this is smaller bark in here this time I think in three years from now because if you're always on the dry side and you have nothing moist in your pot then it, you don't the, the media lasts longer and you can actually see a piece of the metal so that's how big this pot is from where my fingers are there and you can see this is the same type and the the feet that stuck in the ground have been cut off right there and it's in spike I think all but four or five of my orchids are in spikes. So I'm quite happy about that. So, and I did pick just a couple of the cymbidiums from the greenhouse to bring them in. They're not flowering as much as last year, but seem uh, taking their time. So I did grab these the other day. They're so beautiful. I had to bring them in. So I'm not going to... I'll show you this one. Now this is also just the cone shaped thing. Now you could put it in a gazing ball stand or here I have this medium sized traffic cone and a big one might even fit in that. Anything with a hole that's heavy and will anchor it, you never have to worry about a big orchid falling over. So that's all for now. We'll see you back very soon with an orchid video. Bye for now.